you. You're finally awake. Oh my god, bro. Hurry up and skip this fucking cutscene. Dog, this is a single player game. How'd you get in here? Oh my god, shut your ass up and skip the cutscene. I think we could all agree that 2010 through 2015 was pretty much the peak years of gaming. And my god, what a glorious time to be alive. You got classics like Skate 3, Black Ops, Battlefield 4, GTA 5, Skyrim, Left 4 Dead 2, Payday 2, and no matter which game you chose to play, you'd still have someone screaming directly into your ear. Bro, which one of you f***ers drew the game using a DSR. Bro, shut up. You can't even bro, were you the one who said DSR? You're fucking dog shit, bro. Bro, stop fucking talking, bro. Look at how they say what you're saying. You're fucking dog shit this game. You're fucking terrible, bro. I'm telling you. I'm off this game. Go back and play Minecraft, bro. Playing console back then was a straight up war. Like, the amount of profane shit people used to say back then would probably get your ass thrown in jail in today's age. I live in Smevic, Birmingham. If you want the fucking brawl, come down to Smevic, ask for Danny G. I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking leg. Gaming back then was perfect. You know, what more could you want? You know, you got your CDs all over the floor, some dude in your lobby's got a connect mic and you hear his family fighting in the background. You got your mom yelling at you to go to bed for school tomorrow morning. You know, life was good. I mean, shit, the only bad thing about gaming back then was fucking GameStop. Hey, can I return this? It's, uh, some dog shit. Yeah, sure thing, man. You got your seat? Yeah, here you go, man. I got you. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Alrighty, so I can either give you a dustpan and some bottle caps or $2 store credit. Hmm, what kind of bottle caps are they? Hmm, I got an ice mountain bottle cap right here if you want it. Eh, I'll take the dustpan. Okay, good option, man. Thank you for shopping at GameStop. Like, they were straight up robbing people. You return your game for like three bucks and they turn around and sell for 45. And let's not forget the shit the card reader was asking you as you were checking out. Would you like to sign up for an Xbox headset for percent off? No. What the fuck is going on? No! Bro, what? Everything okay, sir? Bro, y'all's card reader is holding me hostage. Times were simpler back then, bro, I swear. Like, you put your CD in, it doesn't work, you rub toothpaste on it, you wash it off, you put it back in, and then it still doesn't work, so you proceed to throw your controller at the wall. Now look, you can't really talk about old Xbox consoles without mentioning the infamous, the legendary, Red Ring of Death. I had it, you had it, your fucking grandma had it. That shit was like a fucking disease. If you didn't have it, consider yourself lucky. Because I swear, if you didn't have that thing in like a fucking super cooling refrigerator, that shit was bound to fail. I mean, I had my Xbox for a fucking year and it started blinking. People really underestimate how common it was. Shit would fail, you'd return it, it fail again, you return it, and then repeat that process about three times. Like before you turn it on for the day, you'd stop and do a prayer to the Lord, begging him that nothing goes wrong. Please, Lord Jesus, let this shit work. I'm not asking, I'm demanding. Come on, come on. Let's go! Thank you, thank you, Lord, for letting this shit work. And can we just talk about what happened to some of the games real quick? Like, I remember spending a f ton of money on shark cards to buy, like, the Adder and the Zentorno and shit. And now you go on to GTA and there's a fucking flying missile bike killing everything in the map. And then you get the older Call of Duty games where there's at least four modders per lobby. You got, like, rainbow colors and shit flying on your screen everywhere. Some modders advertising all of this fucking socials while you're playing the game. Alrighty, guys. So, in conclusion, suck my d Black Ops 2 is better than MW2. Yes, I said it. I don't care. Nobody's gonna change my mind. It's f***ing factual. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. You're now breathing manually, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.